using Moodle because the course that I'm involved with is um, the only online fully distance learning um, course run in the school and as such the entire course has always been run using CitySpace which I found both difficult to use and old-fashioned um, and so I was very pleased to be an early adopter of the Moodle platform um, because it felt like if not the future, at least the present, rather than city space, which felt like the past. Yes, very much so. Um, yeah, it's incredibly easy to use, and for me that's absolutely paramount. I run a program, therefore I've got um, module leaders who actually do lots of the day-to-day -day running of each of the modules. Um, and for them, who are all also visiting lecturers, so they're not in, they're not based at the university, um, and they do everything remotely. Um, it's important that they have something that's easy to use and, and really easy to learn. And I think one of the best things about Moodle is that it's easy to learn. Um, it's pretty intuitive. Um, the students are responding positively. Um, in the online course, everybody seems very happy. Um, they're not necessarily a group of students who will tell us when things are going well um, it, because in fact they're not really a group of people that will tell us when things are going badly. Um, so I've been to the discussion forums and everybody seems to be happy and um, things are, seem to be being used as I would expect them to be. Um, so there's no problems there. I also teach on a face-to-face -face course um, and I used the choice uh, tool recently to allow my face-to-face -face students to book tutorials with me. I gave them a choice of tutorial dates and up to six people per date. Um, and they responded to that really well. And when I asked them, kind of, how did that go? Is it worth using again? They were very positive. And in asking them that, I also got responses about how Moodle in general was very easy to use. So I think they responded quite well. I think it's about look and feel, actually. I think Part of my resentment of the city space platform was very much about look and feel as well as kind of lack of usability. Um, and I think the look and feel of Moodle and the template that we've got um, is just brilliant. It, you know, it's very straightforward, it's very easy to understand, it's very easy to interpret, um, it's easy to navigate. Um, and I like the kind of minimalist white expanses that we have around the edges. Yes, I'm planning lots of changes. Um, for a start, I think the, the Moodle project has given me a great opportunity to rejig lots of um, aspects of the programme and the modules, um, which were hampered a little bit in terms of the activities that we could create by the limitations of the platform. So the fact that we have Moodle, which is just a much more expansive platform and we can you know, move outside to the rest of the web and we can exploit different technologies within it. Um, I think just gives me kind of an enormous smorgasbord of, of different activities and options. Um, and a lot of the online learning that we've um, kind of embraced or employed in the past has been very much kind of presentation of content followed by activity, discussion board activity. Um, so it's been very limited, so we've kind of replicated that for now because we were under a certain amount of time pressure over the summer to do the transition from city space to Moodle. But now I think this academic year what I'd like to do is really think through what other activities are possible, you know, the use of blogs um, for reflective and critical work um, and the use of wikis possibly for collaborative um, activities. Um, so yeah, I see lots of potential for changing the way we do things and also possibly I want to think about how I might rejig my assessment because if we're moving to online um, submission and online marking then 4,000 word essays um, are probably not the way to continue. I think the first thing that I would advise is to block out a complete chunk of time to allocate to the task. Um, I had a very big task because I had to move eight modules from city space to Moodle and although somebody did the physical transition for me I had to go through and tidy everything up and reorganise and create forums and create links to those forums um, and tidy up file structures that perhaps you know haven't really been maintained very well for the last few years. And I 
couldn't have done that um, without having time blocked out in my diary and a large chunk of time, so a week for each module, for example, um, and really doing nothing else in that week. Um, I think if I'd had a day here and half a day there, um, then I simply wouldn't have progressed so far, so fast, because um, I did work very hard um, on it, um, and I worked hard consistently. So I think you know that time element was really crucial. I had the benefit of it being over summer holidays. And the other thing um, in terms of advice is, and I, I don't think this would translate for everybody, um, because the task that I had was quite specific because it involved transition and um, and rejigging old content, um, but knowing a bit of basic HTML um, was really useful for me. Um, and HTML is a really easy coding markup language rather than a complex and difficult programming language and therefore it is something that 